Hello everyone, so today I wanted to go over a deformation type of problem and in particular this problem says the coupling rod is subject to a force of 5 kip. Determine the distance D, which is this one right here, between C and E, accounting for the compression of the spring and deformation of the bolts. When no load is applied, the spring is unstretched and distance D is 10 inches. The material is uh, A36 steel and each bolt has a diameter of 0 0.25 inches. The plates at um, A and B and also C are rigid and the spring has a stiffness of uh, K equals 12 kip per inch. So as always, we need to start but what is given. And we're given that uh, P is 5 kip. We know that um, D naught is 10 inches. We also know that E is uh, 29 times 10 to the third KSI. That is because it's A36 steel. We also know that the diameter of the bolt is 0 0.25 inches. And we also know stiffness of the spring, which is 12 kip per inch. And we also have delta x initially, which is uh, 0 inches. Then we need to look at what we're asked to find. And in this case, we're asked to find the, uh, the deformed distance, or like the distance uh, after the deformation. So I'll call that d prime. And that's what we're trying to find. So let's analyze what we're given. Okay. So it looks like if we take into consideration the deformation of this rod, the deformation of this bolt A right here, and also the compression of the spring, that should give us the, um, uh, and we add that to the distance d, that should give us d prime, which is what we're after. So d prime will be d naught plus delta a plus delta e plus delta x. So in other words, we're given delta, uh, we're given d naught, but we need to find delta a, delta e, and delta x. So let's begin by drawing a free body diagram of the rod. We have the P right here, and we also have the the spring that will be pushing down at this point right here. So we have force of the spring. So if we sum moments, uh, sorry, forces in the y direction, they have to be equal to zero. Therefore, P minus FS equals zero. P equals to FS. We also know that the force of the spring has to equal to the stiffness psi delta x. That is the Hooke's law. So by solving for delta x, we simply need to divide by k. So therefore, delta x is going to be equal to p over k. And p is 5 uh, kip, and k is 12 kip per inch. Kip will cancel out, and we're left with inches, and that should be 0 0.417 inches. So now we know delta x. <coughs> This is delta x right here. Uh, we can also calculate uh, delta e from here because delta e is simply going to be the internal force, which if we cut is going to be p times the length of the whole rod divided by ea. So if we substitute in, we have a p of 5 kip. We also have the length of the rod, which is from here to there, which is 8 inches, divided by uh, E, which is 29 times 10 to the third uh, KSI, uh, kip per square inch. And we also have the area, which is 1 fourth pi times diameter squared, and our diameter is 0.25. And that's, of course, inches squared. So if we plug everything e, uh, everything in, uh, delta E is going to be equal to 0 0.028 inches. So now we need to look at the deformation of uh, bolt, either bolt AC or this bolt right here, which is not even labeled. So let's look at um, the bolt AC. So if we draw a free body diagram. 
you notice we have a symmetric um uh we have a symmetric picture right here and it looks like our uh force p is right in the middle which means that it will distribute equally to p over 2 and p over 2 <clears throat> on both sides so that means that right here we have nothing but p over 2 and uh, that of course has to balance out so at the end we have p over 2 as well the internal uh, force if we make a cut is also going to be p over 2 therefore our delta uh, a is going to be p over 2 times length of that bolt over ea in other words it's going to be pl over 2 ea and if we go ahead and uh, substitute the numbers in we have 5 time uh, that's kip times the length which is uh, 6 inches I'm going to divide by 2 times we have e which is 29 times 10 to the third ksi and also we have uh, the area which is simply this area right here and that is going to be 1 fourth pi times diameter squared, 0 0.25 inches squared. If we plug all the numbers in, delta A is going to be um, 0 0.0105 inches. Okay, so as you can see, we already found delta X, we found uh, delta E and delta A, and we'll, we already know um, D naught. So we can just go ahead and uh, plug everything in to find D prime, which is what we're after. So let me do that down here. We have D prime equals D naught, which is 10 inches, plus uh, delta A, we just found that to be 0 0.01 five inches plus delta E which was 0 0.028 inches plus delta X which was 0 0.417 inches <clears throat> so D prime is going to be equal to 10 point um, four five five inches And that should be our answer. So again, uh, simply using the method we use on every problem, we always start by reading the problem carefully and writing down what is given. Always that is the first step and the most important step, I would say. Then we need to look at what we need to uh, find. Once we know what's given and what we need to find, all we need to do is come up with a relationship between the two. So basically by looking at the picture analyzing it we were able to find uh, this formula which will give us the answer and then from there on is basically just applying our uh, physics knowledge all right so thank you for watching and please let me know if you have any questions and have a great day thank you